Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am introducing my Apocalypse product pan again. My product Apocalypse was something that I started last year and the name is very heavily inspired by Kitch Snitch. I always find that really hard to say here on YouTube, Kat. You probably all know who she is and if you don't, she is amazing. I love her content. She did product Apocalypse, uh, I think she started it about a year and a half ago, uh, maybe two years. And she basically went through her whole collection, did swatch outs, tried everything on uh, to see Basically for her it was more of a declutter, but for me I kind of made it more of a raising my products and then at the end of the year I did a little bit of a declutter. But last year I did that, so I tried every single lip product in my collection last year and I rated them. I decided to like how I like them all. And on top of that I also tried to pan some lip products. I had 21 products that I tried to pan last year in the project and I had them rotating throughout the whole year. Um, and this year I'm going to focus again on the product panning part. I'm not going to go through all my collection again and rate them because obviously I already have the rating from last year. If I buy anything else, like any new lip products uh, or bring any other lip products into my collection, I will go through and rate them. I mean, I'm foreseeing that most of the things that I'm bringing in is going to be like a 5 or a 4. But anyway, those are kind of the... You know the, the the main focus of this product this year is going to be the product panning so how i'm going to structure it this year is slightly different from last year uh, last year like i said i had 21 products that i introduced at the beginning of the year and then each month i had five lip focus lip products that i tried to you know obviously focus on but if i tr had any other lip products that i used as well i tracked those um throughout the year as well this year I'm only going to have 5 products in at any point in time, so it's going to be a much shorter video this year than compared to last year. My product apocalypse videos were always very long last year, which I don't mind, but I just wanted this to be a slightly less of a product this year because I am very focused this year on finishing eyeshadows and that's kind of where I want my main focus to be. So I'm going to go through the 5 lip products that I have decided to start working on this year, but before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So like I said, the lip products that I'm working on this year, I do want to try to finish. I'm not going to have any usage goal, I'm just going to try to finish them. And I'm starting with five. So I'm going to go through just quickly which five I'm starting with. And uh, that's basically going to be it for this introduction. Again, it's going to be a shorter video this year, like this year is going to be shorter. Um, and obviously the introduction, I feel like it's always shorter as well. So um, last thing to mention, I guess, is if I do, or when I do finish a product up, I will replace it straight away. So I will have a, kind of a rolling five products at any point in time. So let me jump into the products that I've chosen. So um, due to recent events, um, which I have mentioned in other videos, and I think maybe some of you already know, Mac is finishing their Back to Mac program in the sense that it is right now. Um, they are still keeping it, but you're not going to be able to get a free lipstick if you return six products. You're just going to be able to recycle your products like normal, but you're not really going to get any reward for it. So because of that, I have decided to pull in three MAC lipsticks to try to finish. And they are finishing this program up by the 31st of March. So that is, from when I'm filming this, what date is it? Um, I have the date on there. So it's the 15th of January today. So that is about two months and two weeks left. So two and a half. And a half. Um, so I'm going to try to finish these in the next two and a half months. I don't know if I will be able to. And if I don't, I might reevaluate that in my, what is that, my March update. And see if I want to declutter them or if I want to continue working on them and not, you know, contribute to my back to back. I think it depends on how many empties I have because you need six to... Uh, get a product for free so if i already have six um i might continue working on them but if i need another one i might declutter it we'll see how it goes but the three products i have from mac let's start with the first one which is going to be snob snob is this light kind of pinky shade right here it's a very very blue tone pink let me swatch it out for you so I went ahead and swatched all of the lip products I'm going to work on right here so you can see them all one together. But the first one here is Snob, like I mentioned, and it's a very kind of cool toned uh, pink shade. It has a lot of blue to it. It's almost like a Barbie pink, but it's not as vibrant. It's not as deep. It's more of a kind of nudie pink, but it's still very um, kind of bright for being a nude. So I don't know if I would call it a nude, but it's a lighter kind of pink. So that's the first color that I'm going to work on. And again, that is for MAC. 
The second lip product, um, again from MAC, is going to be this lip product here, which is Vegas Vault. Uh, this is how much I have left of this one. I forgot to show you how much I have left of Snob, so let me do that quickly. It's slightly less. Um, that is how much I have left of Snob, so you can see, again, slightly less than in Vegas Vault. This is more of a kind of orangey coral shade. And this is probably one that I would have worked on more in summer, but again, because of the back to Mac problem, I am going to work on it now to try to get some more use out of it and hopefully finish it up. We'll see how it goes. Um, I am actually wearing this one today, which you might not, in, must, that might not look like it, uh, but I'm actually mixing this one with the next product I'm going to talk about, which is this nude shade here. Those two work really well together as mixers. I have also used a nude shade to mix with Snob, and that works really well too. So that might be how I use this bright vibrant lip product in the cooler months, because again, it is still like a peachy kind of shade, but it's not as vibrant and out there as this shade here. So that's kind of my idea of how I'm going to work on Vegas Vault even now in winter. I, I feel like when maybe March roll around, I can wear it on its own. Uh, and this is probably the color that I'm most worried about finishing in time for Back to Mac. But again, if I have gotten some really good use out of it, I might decide to declutter it at that time just to be able to take part of that program. But we'll see again when I get to uh, end of March. So that nude that I was talking about that I have been mixing the other colors with is this shade here, which is Honey Love. Again, from MAC. This is the last MAC product that I'm going to talk about. But this is how much I have left of this one. You can see it's a very, very light nude. It's like a sandy tone nude. This one is one of their matte formulas, by the way. I haven't been mentioning the new formulas. Snob is a satin and Vegas Vault is an amplified. Honey Love is beautiful. It's very, very concealer lips for me, though. Um, it looks very, like it definitely looks deeper on my hand, but on my, its own on my lips. It's very concealer lips. I mean, you can see today, the nude I'm wearing is very light still. It, it doesn't look... I think this is kind of the right depth for me. And that is this mix with this deeper kind of shade here. So I do kind of... I like this lip product on its own, but it can be a bit finicky to work on, depending on the look I'm wearing. It can look a bit off, but I have again... I really found that I love this as a mixer lipstick. I love mixing this both with Snob and with Vegas Vault. So I think I'm going to basically have Honey Love with me at all times. I need to use it on its own or would mix with these two if I don't want so much of a bright kind of color. If I want to go for more of a warm tone look, I can mix it with Vegas Vault. And if I want to go for more of a cool tone look, I can mix it with Snob. So that is my plan to get all of these three finished by March or end of March. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Again, there's a lot left in this product. And with this Honey Love lipstick, I am not too worried about completely finishing it by then because the reason why I pull this into the product this is actually one of my newer MAC lipsticks is because I have a backup of this lipstick I purchased this myself maybe like two max three years ago which I mean it's still not fresh but it is not super old However, my boyfriend's sister got me uh, a gift. Um, I think it was Christmas or New Year, Christmas or birthday, and um, she gave me a backup of Honey Love. Well, she gave me Honey Love, but I already had that, so I ended up being a backup for me. So that's kind of why I want to move this out. Um, and I thought it would be a nice nude to throw in the project because what I usually do is I overwhelm myself with too many bright colors, and then I don't find them wearable for every single day. And since this is such a good mixer lipstick. I found that this would probably be good to mix with those brighter shades to get more use out of them um, in, you know, in everyday looks. So, uh, moving on to the two reds down there. I got these two to kind of work together. And the first one, which is the lipstick, is one of my Revlon uh, lip butters. Is this my last one? I think this might be my last lip standing Revlon lip butter. Um, yeah, I don't think I have another one. No, because I, I used up the other ones that I had left in my product last year and this is the only one that I did not finish. So this is the shade Candy Apple which is the red and this is how much I have left of this one. This is more of a smeary formula. It's not my favorite for a red. It's more sheer as well so I can wear this more sheerly on its own or I can match it with the lip liner that is underneath it which I'm going to talk about in a second but I thought I would put this in for the days that I want a red. I think the red is going to be harder to finish overall but I think this is going to be a nicer one to finish because it again is a bit smeary so I think it will go quicker. Um, I can also use this as a cream blush if I want. Um, I used the shade Wild Watermelon that way and I really loved it. So that is kind of how I want to go with this one. I think for the beginning of the year the MAC lipsticks are going to be my focus which I have obviously can make quite clear but I did want to throw in a different option and I think a red one would be nice um I think a red lip is something that I I love red lips 
but since I am so kind of eyeshadow focused nowadays I kind of forget about it and don't reach for reds as much as I want to so pulling this into the palette hopefully will mean that I can reach for red lips a bit more often which I think honestly I think is really flattering I think everyone looks beautiful on red lip I know some people find like find it uncomfortable or they don't feel like they suit like red lips but I think it's beautiful um, and I think most people suit it you just find the right tone but I would want to wear it more this year and that's kind of why I pull this one in so early in the year so that I have a chance to pull this you know every now and then to wear um, when I feel like a red. And then the lip liner that I decided to pull in with this is one that I have talked about so many times and I never know really what to say about this one because it is a completely random lip liner that I have. It's from the brand Rafai, which I no, have no idea what it is. I got this from my mum ages ago and it's probably way way too old. Smelling it, it does smell slightly a bit off now. But I'm gonna try to pan this. Um, I don't have very much left of this. This is how much it is with the cap on, and that is how much it is without the cap on. And the bottom bit here is metal, so I can't sharpen past this bit here. So I don't think it's gonna take too long to finish. Also, with a red lip liner, usually I want my lip liner to be very sharp, so I sharpen my lip liner quite often. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, but with this one, um, it looks like this. It's definitely deeper than the red lipstick that I pulled in, in this. Not my favorite red, which is also why I want to get it out, but I feel like these two paired together might work nicely together and um, yeah, it's another reason just to get red and when I wear them, I probably will always wear this uh, with the Revlon Lip Butter just because I feel like on its own it's not my favorite color and also it is quite drying and it's also not very even, it's just not my favorite lip liner. So I probably will pair it with Candy Apple just to even my lips out a bit, um, which means I can get use out of both products at the same time. So that is my starting palette for my lip palette pan this year. Um, yeah, these are the ones that I want to focus on. I don't know how long it's going to take until I have an empty. I don't foresee myself to obviously have an empty next month. But yeah, I will hopefully try to focus on these and roll them out semi quickly. Just so I can roll something in because I have quite a few lip products that I want to focus on this year. I have all of my focus lip products over here in my kind of like you know lip area like you can see right here and some brushes and stuff but in there i have all of the lip products that i want to finish this year so if i feel like pulling for any of the other ones i might kind of start working on them on the side but these are going to be the five that i want to focus on and then obviously when i finish one of them off i'm going to roll in one in this project and actually start properly tracking so that is it for today you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up i know a lot of people wanted me to bring back a lip product pan this year so i decided to do it in this project and it also meant that i can work on more lip products at once however i didn't want to overwhelm myself as much as i did last year but um, yeah, I'm hopefully this can be quite a successful project. Um, we'll see how many lip products I get through, but I'm hoping to finish up quite a few because I need to continue lowering my lip product collection. Uh, but again, I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.